So I wanted to answer the question, is keto low carb actually safe for the thyroid or is it gonna end up ruining your thyroid and creating damage? Let's take a look at that. Here we have the thyroid. It's in the base of the neck right down here, about two and a half inches wide. The thyroid makes T4. It's controlled by the pituitary, a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone. So this basically is what causes the thyroid to make T4. Now, T4 is actually a pre-hormone or inactive hormone. It doesn't really do much. It has to be converted to T3. The four and the three are the number of iodine molecules. So when it strips off an iodine molecule, it becomes T3, it becomes active. This happens through the liver and the kidneys. 80% of the conversion happens to the liver and 20% happens to the kidney. So when you go on a keto or low carb eating plan, it is actually true that T4 will decrease up to 40%. Now that's pretty scary if you're only focusing on this one factor, but we're gonna take a look at the whole picture. So many people take this out of context and they end up giving you the wrong information. So here's the facts. There are no studies out there that show any negative effects on the thyroid when you go on a ketogenic plan or a low carb diet, zero studies. In fact, and this is interesting, despite this drop by 40%, there is no drop in actual metabolism. And the way that someone is diagnosed with hypothyroidism, which is a slow thyroid, is through thyroid stimulating hormone. But guess what? When people do keto or low carb diets, this does not change. So this is zero. Also, T4 doesn't change, only T3. And this is with all types of populations, athletes, super athletes, overweight people. So how do we explain this? Well, here's what's really happening. T3 is becoming more sensitive. I mean, think about insulin. When you do a keto plan or you're doing low carb, you're fixing insulin resistance. You are making insulin more sensitive. What does that mean? It means that that hormone is working more efficiently. It's working better. Instead of getting 25 miles a gallon, you're now getting 40 miles of the gallon. So you're actually getting better gas mileage with this T3 becoming more sensitive. I believe what's really happening is that high carbohydrate diets increase the need for more thyroid hormone, and that's why it's higher. And then you go on a ketogenic low carb diet, which I believe really is a normal way of eating. It's a healthy way of eating. This goes down 40%, which is not abnormal. That number is actually normal on what our bodies were designed to use. So in summary, when you do a low carb keto plan, you're actually improving the efficiency of the thyroid. You're not making it worse. This is not worse. You're just not needing so much T3. Does that make sense? I hope so. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.